Well, it's difficult because we have so many governmental leaders who will say anything and do anything, and then you have governmental leaders who, who and it's not only government, it's our teachers, it's police officers, firemen, it's our, our, our priests and our, our pastors who you have trust with and then they let you down. And I said from the very beginning we were squeaky clean, we had nothing to hide, all that other kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, you really don't know who I am and what I do behind my closed doors. For those of you who supported me through this, through this time, I'm, I'm indebted and appreciative, but I'm glad that we were able to demonstrate, and this young lady, because of her fine bookkeeping, um, as well as Lolly Fulford, who assist us, assisted us as well, were clearly, were, were able to clearly demonstrate to the penny, to the half cent, to the, to the decimal, that there's never been any impropriety on our part. And um, so I'm grateful for that and having the opportunity to at least, once you're accused of something that you have no control over, to actually go through the process that we did. Now, having said that, I testify for hours. Um, and, and for me, I w was given my rights. And I could have easily stood mute and chose to, to say what I had to say only because if you, if you haven't done anything wrong, you got nothing to hide. It's very easy. So I'm very grateful. Thank you. Now, you mentioned when this all started that, you know, in a sense, you wish the city was handling it and paying these guys. That's correct, and that's now, still my position. Okay, is that going to be changed, or you don't know? I've been pushing for it from the time I got here, and I still believe unequivocally that that's the position this city needs to take without a doubt because at the end of the day I'm wearing even in my off-duty capacity I'm wearing a city of Fairhope Police Department uniform I'm using their car their gas and I'm acting under this shield right here and if anything happens to me or if anything happens to a civilian as a result of my involvement at the end of the day I'm not a security guard I work for the city of Fairfield. So that's my position and will be my position. And hopefully people will at least now recognize uh, through some other issues that have come up, like one of our officers getting hurt on duty and uh, now the city's trying to go ahead and get workman's comp to pay for that individual even though it was an off-duty job. Again, that just reinforces my position from 